Beaters, weirdos, balls and ghouls, we've got a debunking video, hopefully, because I haven't actually watched the video yet, but you know. Now the channel is called Midwest Ghost Hunter. The reason I'm doing Midwest Ghost Hunter is I got this guy confused with somebody else in the video I did about, you know, people getting haunted locations wrong. And I said that the E guy was, oh, I think that's Midwest Ghost Hunter, wasn't him. But plenty of people have been saying, hey, you need to actually look at Midwest Ghost Hunter because, you know, he could be up to some shenanigans. Now, this guy has got 21 videos and 31.6k subscribers. So I'm expecting some pretty good shit, you know? His channel description is, I investigate haunted places alone. Nothing about for entertainment only cool so we're gonna be checking out his newest video it's got 10k views in three days which is pretty good and it's getting cursed by the black angel of oakland cemetery Ooh, very nice so obviously i'm not going to show his entire video because it'll end up in a copyright claim or a strike <coughs> i'm just going to get a feel for the guy see if there's anything i can debunk or at least latch on to in a positive or negative because, you know, I'd be quite happy to find some American channels that I can actually enjoy. I do enjoy Paranormal Quest. So let's give it a go, shall we? Are there any spirits out here tonight? I gotta be careful not to get lost. Is that Hopper? <laughs> Looks like Hopper from Stranger Things. I like this. Just out here. Okay, either I'm going crazy or those were footsteps. That's like a weird glow going by over there. <gasps> I just saw another one. That was a car headlight. Hey, ghost hunting hopper! <laughs> There's something off with this guy. That that little thing with the... It, most ghost hunting shows, shows when they do this little introduction bit with the title reveal, they will have used some footage from an actual investigation of them looking around because it comes over more natural. I think what's caught me off guard with this guy already is... He looks like he's acting. And he is. He's acting for this little introduction, which is fine. It's kind of jarring, you know? Greetings, friends. I am the Midwest Ghost Hunter, and I am currently at the Oakland. Greetings, friends. I'm going to stand as awkward as I can off camera. There is something really off with this guy. A cemetery that is said to be haunted by a cursed statue. And yes, I'm going to be visiting that cursed statue. Why are you leaning? <laughs> Why is he leaning to one side? I may regret putting this on. I'm going to get in trouble for this. I can see it coming a mile off. If you enjoy watching me investigate haunted places all alone, then consider subscribing. I'll if you enjoy me laughing at this guy, then consider subscribing. Also, be sure to like the video and comment your thoughts on anything that goes down. The Oakland Cemetery. This guy is more wooden than an 18 year old's pajama bottoms at 6 a.m. Inside, there stands a black angel statue that was erected in 1912 as a memorial for Teresa. She looks lovely. The angel statue was actually originally a golden bronze color. However, over the years, it has mysteriously turned black. It is a golden bronze color. And over the years, it has materially turned black. That's called oxidation. That is oxygen, water, human touch, etc. It's basically tarnished the statue. That's no big mystery. That is no big paranormal question to be asked. It's the same kind of thing. You look up at some buildings and they've got those green roofs on it. And you're like, why is that a good green roof? That's a bit weird. They were originally bronze. This guy switching between the studio and the, the in real time paranormal thing is really jarring. Now, mine seed do the same thing, but they do it to better effect because of the lighting they have, the sound design, etc. This snap in between a brick wall with a colourful light on it and him being in a graveyard is kind of like just. Maybe I should have paranormal sinned this video. Interestingly, it is said that Teresa actually erected the angel to watch over the grave of her unfaithful husband. It is also said that every year, the angel becomes a darker shade of black. Oxidation? All the countless souls that it harvests. She put an angel to watch over her cheating husband. That doesn't make that much sense. She'd put something else over your um, cheating husband. I don't know, like piss. 
but it's harvested thousands of souls. Why is this not on the news? The most common reports about this angel statue is that if you touch or kiss the statue, you will be struck dead shortly after. Another report is that at night, the angel has been seen animating to life, walking or even flying around the cemetery. I'd pay some good fucking money to see that. Go in there. Uh, chase me. Ha <laughs> ha. I'd pay some good money for a statue to chase me around like Ghostbusters 2. That's not enough for you. There is also reports of paranormal activity outside of the angel. Mysterious glowing balls of light have been seen floating around the other tombstones. That's a moon. They are believed to be the spirits of those who are buried there. Here we go. There's a live band playing here in Iowa City. You can hear it echoing in the background. Hopefully it doesn't interfere too much with the investigation. Are there any spirits out here tonight? I'm very interested in speaking to one of you, if you're willing. I mean, I've, I've had a little bit of a laugh, but, you know, he's respectful at least. He's, you know, and he's out on his own. Got to have a bit of respect for somebody that's going out there to investigate on their own. Now, there was a voice present. Unfortunately, um, you've got to be careful with voices when you're doing an external investigation. There's been a few occasions when me and Dean have gone somewhere, we've heard a voice and we're like, holy shit, and then when you play it back in your editing software, you can tell that's coming from somebody and it's just travelled. Now, cemeteries tend to not be in the middle of nowhere. There's normally stuff around them, especially a cemetery this big. There could be people in there, there could be groundskeepers teenagers, whatever. I'm not saying he's faked anything. I'm not doing it. I'm just saying you got to be a bit more careful. I heard like a male voice over there. But I wouldn't act in afterwards. Jesus Christ. Uh, I, I don't think that was overlead. I think it's just genuinely somebody's voice carrying and he's got a little bit freaked out. Fit. Is there anybody over here? Again, with an outdoor location and footsteps, it's probably wildlife. Again, I don't think he's faking it. I think he's just reacting to noises he's hearing around him. There were like little screams you could hear in the background that were clearly wildlife as well. So there's there's clearly animals there because he's chosen to ignore the sort of screaming sounds because they're clearly animals. So that's probably what the footsteps are. Okay, either I'm going crazy or those were footsteps. This time I'm caught off guard by what sounds like disembodied footsteps walking through the grass. <gasps> there was nobody in front of me. Again, I was completely alone in this cemetery. I have no explanation for this phenomenon whatsoever. I'm coming towards you. I think those footsteps were actually overlaid. The reason for that, those footsteps were further away from him than what he is to the camera. And he's walking forward and you can barely hear his own footsteps. You, those footsteps you hear were very loud, like walking on crispy leaves, even though he stood on what looks like grass. So why would it have picked up crunchy footsteps much further away from him, louder than his own actual footsteps directly under the camera? I think he may have overlaid those in. But that's just an opinion. Don't come at me. Or if you do, I don't care. Could you scream out your name? You gotta be careful what I ask. That'd be terrifying. I'm actually shocked that I didn't hear this EVP through my headphones at the time. You can hear this long, drawn-out whisper saying No, you name. can't. <laughs> Margaret. He's making that out to be Margaret, and it is clearly a frog or a toad. It's a ribbit. <laughs> and he's passed that off as Margaret. The reason he didn't pick that up on your EVP headphones is it's a frog and you knew exactly what it was. Let's have another look. <laughs> frog! Or a toad! 
Could this be a spirit responding to my request? I know I'm alone in this. What in the world was that noise? That was eerie. What in the world was that noise? That was eerie. Uh, I'm starting to get really disappointed and annoyed with this guy. I begin hearing this strange noise off in the distance. Another scary noise in the cemetery. Let's go towards it. What was that sound? I just heard something. The only way I could describe this sound is squeaking metal of some sort. I have never heard a noise like this in a cemetery before. I mean, ce cemeteries have chain link fencing. They have you, you, you've got the road, and they'll have fen like the chain link, the gates to get in and out of the um, mausoleum doors. All make those noises quite naturally at that. Almost sounded like metal squeaking. Oh my god. Ah, uh, I think I know where that's coming from now. I feel like I came from this mausoleum. And as if by magic. Um, we've seen this before. Um, Franco's done it. A few others have done it. They'll overlay sounds or get somebody else there to make the sounds and then disappear with a camera cut. The camera's going on his face and then away from him. Um, he hasn't moved with any sort of urgency towards where this noise is ca apparently coming from. Mm. Could you make that sound again? I now realize that this sound was actually coming from a mausoleum door handle. I wonder if it was one of these door handles. Let's test it out. Oh my God. That freaking door handle was moving. In order for that door handle to move, something has to physically move it. There is no amount of wind that could cause it to move that erratically. You're a paranormal investigator, you're out in a little graveyard and you hear that noise, you're going to be a little bit more edged than, wow, I just heard a noise and I'm still doing my Captain Kirk impression. Holy shit. This whole thing is just off. There's something off about all of it. If there's any spirits in this mausoleum, could you speak into this red light? Roxanne, you don't have to put on your red light. Sorry. It'll record your voice. Damn, I'm just begging for that to happen. I decided to leave a camera recording the door, and thank God I did. So he left a static camera to capture where he's hearing noises. Makes perfect sense. There's actually a reason for this static camera. I get that. And he's captured the door handle moving. Now, if it'd just been the squeaking, I'd be like, ah, it's an overlay, or maybe he's on the inside turning the handle. But this thing lifts from the outside. Could this be legitimate? Take another look. I think there was a frame skip there. There was a frame skip there. So he's obviously hiding something, right? If I turn the volume off and I play this in slow motion, you'll see the screen quickly flash black. That's a frame skip. I noticed it around here. Now, there's all sort of artefacting and, you know, digital noise, as in what you're looking at, 
all around it, night vision, um, poor quality camera, etc. So it's really easy to hide something in bad quality camera work, which is why people tend to record potato quality stuff when they fake in. I don't believe that that is a, a ghost moving that handle. I think that he... In fact, I would go as far as to say that I know he's faked that because there is a cut. Now, that cut is obviously to cut something out that we weren't meant to see. Otherwise, there's no reason for it because whatever he's done, he's hidden really well. You can easily see this There is just all sort of mess around this. Um, and that's where the and that's where the mask or the wire removal, whatever, has been hidden in with all this. The skipped frame gives it away. He's done quite well with that. But yeah, um, in my opinion, and it is my opinion. That's been staged. That's been faked. There's a wire removal tool or something. I just can't see it properly because of all of this digital noise and artifacting that's going on in this video because of the poor quality of the camera. Now, see... Now, he's zoomed right in on it here. And bizarrely... When that handle starts to move, that's when the artifacting gets worse. Trying to get in or something. Look at the artifacting suddenly picks up. There. Look at all of this now. This is one of the most wild pieces of evidence I've ever captured on an investigation. And that's what I'm going to call this a day. Uh, I'm 10 minutes in and he's clearly faked that entire thing. Um, now, can I say with 100% certainty that I have 100% debunked that with no question? No. However, there is enough oddities and things going on there to make me think that I'm correct in that that is staged. The fact that when the door handle starts to lift, that's when the artifact and the, the digital visual noise gets worse and then it drops and then all of a sudden the artifact then cuts and it's not as bad as it was while it was moving. That's enough for me to say he staged something, he's hidden it in with all of the artifact in. His demeanor about the whole thing is just I am going through the motions and I have staged this, but I am trying to look excited, but I cannot. His Margaret thing, that's 100% debunked. He's claimed a clear frog or toad sound as a EVP or disembodied voice of Margaret. The footstep overlays is exactly what they are. And that artifact is there just to tr just to hide that he has staged that door handle moving. It was done a little bit better than some people do, but there were enough telltale signs. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Am I right? Am I wrong? You're allowed an opinion on it. I personally think that I'm right. This guy has staged all of it and I've got him rumbled. So um, I think if I ever visit this channel again, it'll be a paranormal sins because this was shit. <laughs> so yeah, let me know your thoughts on the comments section down below. Much love to you all. Beardo, out.